Did you hear about the economy? I heard we are ditching Keynesianism and going back to Reaganomics. Do you even know what that means? Well, I saw an expert on TV. You mean, one of those experts that never worked in the private sector? My labradoodle knows more about economics. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, explain it to me, but keep it simple. I've got a lot on my plate. I can try. First, we need to understand the policy the last few years. Do you know the term demand-side economics? Can I use a lifeline? No. But congratulations, you were just like everyone else. Awesome. Is that a good thing? This is going to be painful. Demand-side economics is when a politician takes a dollar from you and redistributes it to me. Artificially distorting demand. Your example sucks. Why am I the one out the dollar? And why would a politician do that? Some of the demanders are well-meaning fools. Others are corrupt fools. But the economic effect is always tragic, regardless. Hey, politicians may be the scum of the earth, but they are not complete idiots. What you are describing is just shuffling deck chairs on the Titanic. What would be the fucking point? Indeed. But there is more. The trick is for the demanders to also take another dollar from your kids. That gives me two dollars. You are really batshit crazy. My kids don't have any money. They are still crapping in their pants. You know what they make? They make poopies. Yes. They may not have any money, but they already owe 14 trillion dollars. By the way, did you know that a trillion seconds is 30,000 years? My kids owe that much. No wonder they are crapping in their pants. But why would a politician do this to the kids? The demander gets to look like a superhero for turning one dollar into two. And gets re-elected. The people love the free money. And the kids cannot vote. I can only conclude that demanders consider kids to be the lowest form of scum in the universe and want them to live a life of misery and poverty. No wonder my kids cry all the time. Okay, so I got the redistribution part and the money taken from the kids part, but what about the artificially distorted demand part? Demand just means purchasing power. And when it gets distorted, it makes people do stupid things. Like for instance. Okay, I've got a dollar here and I'd like you to suck on a hospital mop. Will you? No way. That is fucking disgusting. Yes. It is. How about for one million dollars? Okay. I see your point. But if you only get two dollars, who is going to suck on a hospital mop for that? I'm sure as hell not going to. No. You are as sharp as a bowling ball and would never do that. But you would be amazed what hungry Chinese, Indians, Mexicans, and Koreans can do for two bucks. I see it every day. Okay. So demand-side economics is when one dollar is redistributed. Another dollar is stolen from the kids. And most of it goes to foreigners while artificially distorting demand. Is that all? No. It gets worse. When the kids grow up and realize they have been screwed, things will get nasty. Have you seen Europe lately? So what about Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid? Those all sound like demand-side economics. Don't you believe in helping others? Yes. I help others whenever I can. But what part of 14 trillion dollars stolen from your kids do you not understand? What about mortgages and the huge mess with the housing bubble? You can't tell me demand-side economics played a role there. Yes. It did. Artificial demand set the stage for the whole collapse. The demanders redistributed credit and cash to irresponsible home buyers. And government agencies like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac redistributed the losses to guess who? Your kids. I think I just made poopy in my pants. Good. You see, nothing has changed. The demanders are still in charge. Didn't you say you had a lot on your plate? Where are you off to? Me? I've got to get down to the Senate floor to cast a vote. Oh. Geez.
I should have guessed. So how do you know so much about economics? I work part-time as a cashier at Walmart. You know, you guys should totally unionize. That way, you can demand more pay.